The Staffordshire Bull Terrier is filling 80% of rescue homes nationwide. But why is the UK's fifth most popular dog breed now living a life behind bars? There are a lot of Staffies that come into rescues, which I think because people take them on as sort of status symbols and they get them because they're a tough looking dog and you know, they fall into the wrong hands, but then they realise that they are very lively dogs, they need a lot of exercise and training and things and then they can't cope them, so then they bring them into places like this. We get a lot of people that come in that say they're not fussed about what breed they have, um, they, they have no preferences but they don't want a Staffy. And it's very rare that we get people that come in that especially want a Staffy. Because they've got a bad reputation, um, some people just, you know, they don't want them or they hear bad press about them. In 2009, there were over 5,000 dog attacks, more than 1,000 of which involved children under the age of 10. Although it is not known how many of these attacks involve Staffordshire Bull Terriers, government body DEFRA have responded to the rise with a public consultation, asking whether the breed should be added to the Dangerous Dog Act. Mum of three and Staffy owner of two, Natalie Hall, disagrees it's a problem solely of the Staffy breed. You could put any dog on the dangerous dog list because you could put Huskies on the dangerous dog because Huskies are known to attack. Dalmatians are known to not be great with children. They get, can you see them putting a, a Dalmatian on the dangerous dog act list? It's about being responsible with your dog and there are people out there that use the dogs as weapons and just as these things to walk around as a status and it's those dogs that generally are the dogs that bite and they're not all like that. Natalie is not alone in her argument. 70% of the responses DEFRA have received say breed specific law is inadequate and it's time for the legislation to penalise the owners not the dog. Secretary of the Staffordshire Bull Terrier Club, Jim Beaufoy, is confident a change in the law is imminent. The law needs changing badly to protect the public against dangerous dogs. I'm not talking Staffords now, I'm talking about any dog. The wrong people are doing the wrong things with the breed. To have a pit bull, which is illegal, they, they can get in trouble. To have a Stafford cross, not a pit bull. And that's the way the law is wrong. The new Animal Act, which will come into force, will change it. The Dog Control Bill, currently going through the House of Lords, is expected to target any person who allows their dog to be aggressive or dangerously out of control in a public or private place. Those caught will be issued a dog control notice, ordering the dog to be muzzled, microchipped or attend dog training classes. And if this is ignored, the owner will receive a fine. So while staffy owners like Natalie can rest assured their pet dogs will be going nowhere, whether or not the law will boost the breed's popularity, only time will tell. This is Tamsin Guy reporting for Buzz News.